My name is Dr Oliver Johnson, I'm director of the King Sierra Leone Partnership and I'm stand currently standing on the grounds of Connaught Hospital, the main adult referral hospital in Freetown, the capital city. I first came out here in January 2013 to uh, help set up this partnership between King's Health Partners and key health institutions uh, in the capital city with a vision of supporting the strengthening of the government health system over the long term uh, and that's around strengthening the clinical services the training, the research and the policy. Uh, this work was in the context of uh, the impact of the devastating and prolonged civil war that Sierra Leone had seen in the late 1990s where many of the senior professionals including the senior clinicians and nurses, senior teachers at the medical school, uh, managers and so on had either fled the country or had died leading to significant collapse or weakening of the health system and a lack of uh, senior leading staff. By about March 2014, we'd made some fantastic progress and we had a small team uh, based here at Connaught uh, building and working on the partnership. It all changed, however, in March 2014 when the first case of Ebola was diagnosed in Guinea. And right from that point, the King's Health Partners team was at the forefront of the uh, national response and preparedness for uh, a possible outbreak. We were involved in advising the Ministry of Health on uh, the outbreak, particularly around clinical management of Ebola cases and how to set up isolation units at government hospitals. We helped set up an isolation unit at Connaught, the main referral hospital with 16 beds, uh, and ultimately seven further uh, Ebola holding units uh, that collectively saw more than a thousand Ebola cases up until December 2014, which accounts for about 40% of all the cases seen in Freetown, which was at the epicenter of the outbreak in West Africa. This also enables us to help keep critical health services uh, open at the hospital. And we had uh, senior physicians like Dr. Terry Gibson, the former uh, consultant rheumatologist at Guy's and St. Thomas's Hospital, uh, to be out here on the wards, making sure that patients with malaria, tuberculosis, and other diseases could still get care over the last year. And finally, we were um, able to help set up uh, and uh, guide the development of a Freetown Command Center particularly the, the case management unit that coordinated over 15 Ebola units across Freetown, uh, but also over 30 ambulances and uh, patients' samples going to seven labs, so the coordination of the outbreak across the city. This has been a real challenge for what was a small team, but the team has really risen to it. We've increased the number of staff uh, about tenfold over this period of time, with volunteers coming in, volunteer nurses and doctors, uh, and people involved in ambulances and management coming in from around the world, but particularly the UK, uh, to help support. Uh, we also uh, had um, significant support and funding for the British government and were awarded a grant of over a million pounds from the UK Department for International Development. And this team has been working around the clock to help bring this outbreak to a close. So we'll, we'll never know what the outbreak would have looked like without Kings, but colleagues from the international community and locally say that things could have looked very different if the King's team hadn't been here uh, from the start helping to isolate patients. The thousand Ebola patients that we saw, uh, at the time there were no other beds for them. So if the King's team hadn't been here and uh, opening up other units, they would have been left in their homes, uh, cared for by relatives and potentially spreading the disease exponentially around the city. So the fact that we were here so early on uh, and setting up such a, a large number of beds not only provided important and great care to those patients, it also helped really reduce the amount of transmission and hopefully protected a lot of our Sierra Leone colleagues because without this unit those patients could have ended up on the wards or in the general hospital infecting staff. A key aspect of the impact that King's Health Partners was able to have wasn't just the units that we opened and the uh, patients that we were able to see but the model, the new model we developed of working in partnership with the government to build holding units that was replicated by other NGOs across the country. Um, and we served as a training ground for other organizations and we demonstrated a new model of care. Similarly with the command center, the command center systems that were established in Freetown could then be replicated at each of the districts in Sierra Leone and help to provide uh, a system uh, in rural areas and around the country not just for this outbreak, but potentially for future outbreaks, showing our role not just as delivery partners, but also as academic and thought leaders and as researchers who can help 
shape the behaviours of others and, and have a much larger impact on, on global health generally. The situation has now significantly improved with the number of cases uh, at low numbers and we're on track to getting to a resilient zero number of cases. But the outbreak will have left real devastation in its wake. We've lost a lot of colleagues, a lot of Sierra Leonean health workers, including three senior consultant doctors at Connell uh, who died of Ebola during, during the outbreak. And it also, uh, the outbreak also led to a collapse of many of the cl clinical systems. So we've got a huge challenge ahead of us uh, to try and once again rebuild this health system and build something stronger. But King's Health Partners couldn't be better placed to support that effort. We'll be working over the next few years to really strengthen training, undergraduate training at the College of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences, strengthening training and curricula, teaching facilities, but also getting accreditation for postgraduate training so the country can train its own specialists as surgeons or doctors or nurses who can take up those senior positions that are missing. We're also uh, involved in strengthening clinical services at the hospital. That means lending a hand in departments which are short-staffed, but also helping to develop clinical guidelines uh, and to strengthen referral pathways in clinical systems, be it in emergency medicine or HIV or the ongoing Ebola outbreak. We'll be working on research as a, with renewed vigour. We played an important role in this outbreak. Uh, we had a clinical database of Ebola patients that contributed to understanding the disease and were able to test a novel a rapid diagnostic test for Ebola that could have significant impacts uh, for this and future outbreaks and we want to really build our research work not only to answer key research questions for the health sector in Sierra Leone but also to build research capacity and finally we'll be working with the government uh, to strengthen health policy uh, health policies around specific areas where we're working be that mental health or dentistry but also to strengthen uh, a major government in initiative to set up an academic health sciences centre here at Connaught connecting the main referral hospitals in Freetown with the medical school. King's Health Partners is hoping to be at the, the forefront of guiding that process and helping to establish it as a, as a major academic complex for the future. Now King's itself has been uh, central to all the efforts we've been doing. King's Health Partners staff have been coming out to provide senior technical advice on short trips, but also they've been able to uh, provide advice from the UK by email over Skype to guide all the work that we've been doing. Many of our volunteers have also been from the King's community, with lots of alumni from King's College London applying or staff from across King's Health Partners coming out to join the in-country team. And finally, the response we've had from the King's Health Partners is fundraising has been extraordinary. We've raised over half a million pounds from King's College London alumni and from the King's community that have been central uh, to our being able to scale up this work. So it's going to be a challenging few years ahead, but also a really exciting opportunity uh, for us to really build a strong and resilient health system in Sierra Leone, uh, but an opportunity that's going to need all of King's Health partners to come together to contribute, um, be it the university or the three uh, hospital partners, uh, right across from senior managers or clinicians or academics to junior staff and to support teams, who we hope will all come together uh, and to play a key role in achieving these aims, supporting Sierra Leone partners. Um, but also in recognising King's Health Partners' role as a major global institution and a key partner for global health.